Street TV, Advancing Kingdom Lifestyle. I don't want you to sit down. I just want us to take it away with that momentum. And in that momentum, I want us to put our hands together to welcome the next speaker, who is Apostle T. Mwangi. your neighbor looks like an Egyptian look for an Israelite and look them straight in the eye tell them you look good in this camp hallelujah hallelujah amen so we can have our seats um, I want to appreciate everyone I want to appreciate all of you for coming and making it to the RR camp Indeed, the devil is in trouble. The devil is in trouble. I want to appreciate all the pastors that are here, the leaders, the patrons, and the conveners of this ministry. And I want to acknowledge our father in the faith, Apostle David Juma, and Mom Asunta Juma. Is that how you appreciate your father? Amen. For bathing and conceiving this vision. And we are grateful. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor the prophecy of you going to an international school has just been fulfilled. We, we are in Nova Pioneer International School. So that prophecy is already fulfilled. So I want us to look at something, I'm calling it the power of information. The power of information. And I will not talk to you as teenagers. Jukuna vile mnatakanga tuwabongeshe lakini vitu mnajua ni heavy. I want to get into your system and talk to you into your level. Because some of you, the things you know. And the problem is once you know, you cannot unknow. So, so, there are things you know and they are so deep. And what you need to understand is that the world has been going through what we call civilizations. Civilizations. And right now we are in the fourth civilization age civilization the world has gone through different civilizations and now we are in the fourth civilization age the first civilization age was called the mechanical age the mechanical age this is when they introduced the police and a lot of engines came on board and when the mechanical age began the world entered into a 360 revolution in terms of how operations used to happen and how things used to be carried out. Immediately after that, the world came into what we call the electrical age. For the lovers of science, you know the founder of AC Current is a man called Tesla. Who is believed to be the father of modern day innovations. He is the man who discovered a remote. And it is out of the intelligence of how a remote works. That people came up with mobile phones. They say possibly he was assassinated by the CIA. And his books confiscated. And a conspiracy theory goes around. That part of the formulas of the things that he had come up with part of those formulas are what are being used today to develop modern day weapons he was a living genius he's the man who said whoever decodes 
the mystery between 3, 6 and 9 in numerology will discover the password of the globe. Because all numbers add into 3, 6 and 9. 1 plus 2 is 3. 4 plus 5 is 9. And 7 plus 8 is 15. And when you do that 15, you do 1 plus 5, you get 6. He say the world is controlled by 3, 6, and 9. That was the, the pattern of the pyramid. That man lived in the 50s. The, the, the innovations of Tesla, when AC current came on board, the world was lit, literally. <laughs> the world became lit. And so, out of electricity, again the globe entered into a 360 turnaround. Now remember we are moving from mechanical engines into electrical powered engines. The level of revolution and innovations were dramatic. And this AC was discovered in around 1890. So we are looking at an innovation that is less than 200 years old and you can see how advanced the globe has been in less than 200 years and then we came into the early 90s which was the the computer age the computer age it began in the early 90s but of course the first computer was developed in the early 90s but the idea of the first computer was pioneered in africa whatever bill gates did he took the patents and advanced them and came up with the computer. And after the computer age, there was another revolution globally. And out of that computer age, that was the entry of the age of information. And I read a book um, about some rich family. When you study about the world of the globe and those who control the globe, you will come across two families. The Rothschild family and the Rockefeller family. I know you watch YouTube. The Rockefeller family dominated the American uh, space, but the Rothschild family dominated the Europe space. And in 1990, the Rothschild family said, power is no longer in money, but power is in information. And they invested a lot in media spaces, because they knew if you can control what people hear, you can control people. So right now we are in the fourth revolution or the fourth civilization age, which is the age of AI, chat GPT. That's where we are right now. And I tell you the truth, it's a matter of time. The level of revolution that is coming will ship the globe 360. They are talking about driverless cars. The concept of Uber was pioneered in Columbia University. And the reason why Uber is not profitable is because the founders of Uber were designing a driverless car. That's why now when the Uber came in Kenya, they didn't have money to pay the driver. But the profit of that car in America already, they are sampling driverless cars. I was in Dubai and in the airport they were serving with robots. So we are entering into the age of the robotic. And if you think you're not in that age, I just needed someone to give me the pin. And there is a lady who gave me direction and I've not seen her. In 100 meters, turn left. And there is a place I almost went the wrong direction and she told me, in 100 meters, take a U-turn. So there is intelligence. You go to your phone. You can even know whether there is traffic or not. And now we are in the age of information. And I feel like telling you, we are back in Genesis chapter number 3. Now let's read. Well, next time make sure this place looks like apostolic house. Because I almost felt like saying, let's read. Because we are used to seeing scriptures being projected. So I will read for you and I hope you came with your Bible. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. It's good to understand the time you are living in. So that you can know the devils you need to fight. 
The Bible says, Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. Some versions say, say crafty. Some say wise. And he said to the woman, Has God indeed said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden. So it is an argument of on which information did you receive? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit of the tree of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. Then the serpent said to the woman, Now that is additional information, which we might call in our modern day explanation. You shall not surely die. Uh -huh. But what will happen? Uh, but of the fruit, of the, then the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die, for God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw, so when did she see after hearing? So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eye and a tree desirable to make one wise. She took of its fruit and ate. She also gave to her husband with her and ate. We are living in Genesis chapter number 3. This is the age of information. Now God comes and tells Adam because the one that was given the laws of the garden was Adam. Don't eat. You can eat of all the trees. But of this tree thou shalt not eat. Now, let me tell you. The book of Genesis is a metaphorical book. Metaphor means this, the literature is not as direct as it is. So we are not discussing about a tree. Hapa si kama mtu alikula apple ama pears. Jusa kuna watu wameamua kuingia kwa arguments as it makes sense. Adam alikula apple ama alikula pears ili kwa red ama you know forget forget those pictures you see in your grandmother's house of a man with a leaf and a woman with a leaf and then a snake on a tree giving a red apple. No, it's not about the tree. It, it's a metaphor. So let's appreciate the metaphor. So God speaks to a man and he tells the man, thou shall not eat. That is a command. Many times, God operates from theocracy. Theocracy means God does not need to explain himself when he speaks. Democracy means you, your opinion counts. The difference between the government of God and our government is that the government of God is theocracy. The government of Ruto is democracy. The majority have the say. Are we together? So God tells man, thou shalt not eat. And then apparently man gets a woman. And so the woman never heard from God. The woman alipatiwa sheria za garden na man. Are we together? When you hear from God, it is called revelation. When you hear from man, it is called information. I will repeat. When you hear from God, it is called revelation. When you hear from man, it is called information. The second thing, Revelation convicts. Information convinces. Revelation convicts. 
information convinces. The word there convince it has the name con. It steals your conviction. Okay. So, so, kama maisha yako yote ni kusikiza binadamu, uta keeping you change mind daily. Kuna mtu aliambua kuna kichwa ndogo mbaka hizi change mind. Now, if all, <laughs> if all your life, if, zaza mumeamuka, <laughs> if all your life, all you do is listen to men, watch news, you will keep on changing your mind. When the word of God comes, it convicts men. That's why I cannot explain everything in the Bible, but there is a conviction. There is a knowing that I know that I know. That I know that I know this is the word of God. I may not fully explain it, but I know there is a God in heaven. Now people are trying to use science to explain God. I was talking to a friend and he told me, Pazini ka umungwenywa yuko, ngamuliza hem. Mbona? Kanambia ai. Ka God angekuwa mbona Somalia saa hizi watu hii wana dedi. Niko mio shi si shida ya Mungu. Hiyo ni greed ya man. Somalia wanapigania positions. Huyo man angekuwa chini ya Mungu na fear ya Mungu ikwenda ni yake. Hai you another brother. Whatever is happening in the globe is not the absence of God. Pasi kama God yuko mbona Dubai kuna nyesha. Wona jua Dubai wamekuwa kifanya juu inaitwa seeding of the cloud. Wanaji manufacturia mvua. Sasa Mungu alitaka kuonesha yeye ndio utoa mvua. Akawaletea fiti. Mawingu ikamwaga mvua ijai mwaga. Kuonesha the creator. So majority of majority of the things happening in the globe, God has no business with them. It is engineered because of man. Ukraine is fighting with Russia. Why? Territorial boundary and power. Palestine is fighting with Israel. Why? Because of territorial boundaries. Huku ni kwetu, huku si kwenyu. Now people are releasing missiles. And behind that battle, the sellers of weapons are doing business. Okay. Somebody say information. So when you hear God, that's revelation. When you hear man, that's information. You can never go further than what you know. You are limited in what you know. Both in the natural and in the spiritual. You can never go further than what you know. My desire is that after this camp, kuna tini atamuwa kusoma Bible kutoka Genesis maka Revelation. Wali niambia ntachizi li kisoma Bible. By then ili soma after form 4. Na sijairu di nyuma nili chizi. Ju ukianza kusoma Bible ta discover kuna vitu si za watu nomo. Let the poor say I am rich. Not the rich say I am rich. Let the poor mtu amesota aseme I am rich. Let the weak say I am strong. Hiyo ni kuchizi. Where there is a casting down, I speak a lifting up. Even though si ubonga, we don't live by sight, we live by faith. We live by convictions. We don't live by realities. Kichwa inauma unayambia by his stripes I was healed. Iyo ni wenda wazimu. Kinaumana unaenda church unaangalia ukuta wana wa ukuta. Na unatoka ukiamini vitu zita kuwa poa. Eh, that's why the Bible says, let this mind that was in Christ be in you. If you do business with your mind, you are limited. If every man has a common sense, you will live a common life. There must be another sense. Hallelujah. If you want to be an uncommon young man, you must not operate from a common, common sense. There is another mind that comes from Zion. And that's why they say, when you have a different world view, this one, you will have a different world view. When you have a different, when the word of God shapes the view of your life, you will begin to see the world differently. Are we together? Kuna deni li juanga ni meokoka. Na juu unezo okoka lakini uyuko shua. Iyo deni li toka ni kajiambia maze umeokoka titi umeokoka. I was in a matatu. 
Na unajua kuna time watu hujitetea. Sikia pasi najua mimi sipenda ngi secular music lakini zinanikutanga tu. Sasa mimi tu nilikuwa naenda home nikaingia kwa hii matatu ikaanza kuchunisha lakini kabisa unajua basi ilikuwa ina kelele ilipita ukatulia ile ilikuja na kelele hapo ndo uliingia <laughs> alafu nasema mimi hata secular spendi hizi magenge zinanikutanga tu pasi mimi najaribu ku avoid sasa na sina gari nifanye nini tell your neighbor tunawajua and so on that day on that day I was I was I was going to preach in Thika. I was still a rapper at that time and I was going to preach in Thika. And as I was going to preach in Thika, unajua sasa zile unaenda ku preach unataka una ka atmosphere kako. Wakaanza kucheza mziki ya mavado na ilikuwa chafu. Nasikia pana hii atmosphere pana. Nikamwambia Derema zee kuna wazazi. Reduce mziki akaniambia si ulionanganya wewe. Hii ni ama hewa. Nikanyamaza. Nikaanza kuangalia au mademo ana dance hapo. Nikapata kitu inetangwa holy sorrow. Nikaanza kusema aki suni mtoto wa mtu. Suni mtoto wa Mungu huyu. Ah! Hapo ndo nikajiambia T umeokoka. Tell your neighbor okoka. But what had happened there was a mind change. The Bible says be it transformed by the renewal of your you will not get another mind in a supermarket. How I wish tunga kwa tunanunua new mindset. E conference inge happen. Tunga kuja tu nazo Sunday. Tunatoa hiyo akili mbaya tunaeka ya Mungu. But there is a process of transformation where when you expose your mind to the word there is a change that begins to take place. And the way you see things, you see them differently. So be sensitive what you hear and how you hear there are five gates to your soul five gates and you must guard them five gates gate number one is the gate of your eye five gates to your soul your soul when these gates are open spirits can attack your life number one is the gate of your eye the Bible says if your eye is exposed to light, the whole body will be full of light. If your eye, that is Matthew, if your eye is exposed to darkness, the whole body will be full of? So guard your eye. We live in the age of audiovisuals. What you are seeing. Number two is the gate of your ears. And that's why I'll come because we live in the age of earphones. Hata sasa labda kuna mtu hapa ako hapa tu ananiangalia lakini ako na ma earpods eh, ma, ma iPods ni earpods eh mazee tunazeeka <coughs> amepiga iPods na amesmile alafu anatoa nuliza amesema nini oh asa so we live and, and, and you know your ears are a gate your ears are a gate and it's a serious gate Especially those things you keep on hearing <coughs> with those gadgets, they influence a lot the impulses of your brain. Your mouth is another gate. Your mouth is another gate. Utterances are very key. Number three, your novel, Mokonyo. You know novel? Stumaruti koyo generation ya matumbo kat. Ama inaitwaje crop tops. Crop tops eh? Sasa mkipiga group top photo kuna watu lazima wa breathe in. Bwana asifiwe sana. Inaitwa tucking, Pastor Jimmy, inaitwa kutuck. Nasikia ngo, ngoja to tuck. <coughs> number 4. I mean number 5. Number 5, your private parts. Your private parts are a gate. I was teaching one day on the marine kingdom and a certain lady came and said she had intercourse with a man that was a carrier of that spirit. And that's how that spirit got into her. So some of, some of the interactions are very sensitive. 
very that's why we advocate for abstinence i know as a young man you have feelings but life does not answer to feelings yeah you have self-control and i can prove to you it is there if you take a combination of eggs and beans i want to prove you have self-control and you happen to be in such a meeting and you sense there is a reaction in your stomach and you sense somehow you want to announce your presence with another atmosphere i won't lie to you you will control yourself so if you can control yourself in matters environment you can control your desire <laughs> that's a scientific language tell your neighbor information tell your neighbor information now now those are the five gates and the ear is a very major gate there was a preacher who entered in a matatu and saw a young man listening to secular music and he never saw songs he saw demons going round his ears because some of the music we listen to is a hundred percent what we call enchantments engineered from hell that's why kiangalia mzikia squeeze is drill whatever people are doing is repeating the same thing for almost 10 times those are enchantments it's a realm of witchcraft some of these men have sold their souls to the devil but the time they are singing is not a man singing he's a spirit that's why I've, I've been in music for long so i know and and, and some people don't hide kuna time musician aliingia kenya the first thing ali do ali alichukua mchanga keka kwa mfuko so that the land can accept the man waraswa kikuja kenya wakishuka airport lazima waoge mguu kwa sababu wametoka kwa vessel ya babylon cleanse thyself step on african soil these are rituals and that's why music is very powerful behind every musician wakianza kwa mogo nasikianga aka that's the name of the demon hapa tanzania siku na musician alishuka na alibebo na chopper akashuka na boxer hakuwa na shati miguu tupu akashuka the first thing alifanywa alioshwa mikono na damu hapa tz and today is a big man amechorwa ndovu kwa mgongo spirit ya ndovu territorio so one of clear tuni mamziki ni majam get ni haijakiwa na ndio maana wakati kuna preachiwa hauna attention ya word huko dunia yako sasa zile tunabadilisha destiny au tusikizi baada ya miaka 5 na tutafuta kwa ofisi ukisema pasta ni ka nyota yangu ilienda nyota iko sawa nyota iko sawa sasa hii ndo tunaitunza tell your neighbor nyota iko sawa somebody say information so the first thing that enters is information the, the the entry and there are many channels of course in our day music is one of the channels that carries information a research was done and and those who create music understand the psychology of man there is a time as old as i am nilijikutash kwa shower nikiimba baby shak tu 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 maana juza boss ni nini unafanya mzai? And, and at that time at that time I discovered my, my, my young daughter that's the song she was listening to so they have discovered the brain of a man that if I repeat something between 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3 seconds and I repeat it it enters in the subconscious and those who write music they have studied the science of the brain i sat in a team that was scripting a movie called sugar and the essence of this movie was to encourage young people to go for hiv testing and we had a psychiatrist who was giving us how people think and react when they see certain scenes so we had to create a character that will trigger the emotions 
of the young people and by the time they are done watching that movie they will take that action right now they are saying some of the rock and roll music being played in america people are listening to them and the next thing they are committing suicide because the music is designed to trigger and send frequencies in your mind dark frequencies so that you can take your life there was a song done by a famous rapper in our days it was, it was called Eminem. It was called Sorry Mama. I'm cleaning my closet. It in hit. And most of the people who listened to it were teenagers. Jukila tini anakuangana beef na mzazi. Ata wewe. Apa kuna tini ajakuja kwa uzuri. Apa kuna tini alileto by force. Na ame jam. Session zote. Ame jam. Jua na jua. Siku uliso kana takuja. Lakini tunashukuru mungu kwa hapa. And once you hear, you cannot unhear. Now one day you look at that mother and tell that mother, thank you. You are quam tiaji. Because maybe what you have been preserved for from these three days, you don't know what the devil had purpose. So this is not just another meeting, it's a preservation center. I'm, I'm trying to come to your level because the devil is not playing games in the end times. I, I remember back in the days before LGBTQ became so common. There was a movie produced. It was called The L World. The story of that movie was there is this girl who just happens to love other girls. She's very active in the office, very disciplined. She doesn't drink. She doesn't do those bad things. She just have an emotional disorder. And then she goes to the hospital and she's discriminated because she loves another girl. The movie was so emotional that by the time you finish that movie, you have a washie feeling. And you're like, but they to see Mbaya. After that, they came and introduced power to the black community. You put a gay character who is so talented in music, but the father looks old school. They never told us it's okay, but they know pictures and sound are the modern day channels of information. In this nation, they needed one campaign song to silence their opponent. Atupangwingwi. One. That was information enough to another camp that you can't control us. So we live in the age of sight and sound. And the devil has invested heavily. Go to TikTok. Between 12 midnight to 3 is like demonic portals are open. One of the ladies that lives in TikTok in Kenya, she was saying because you don't understand the kind of madness that happens between that time. Oh, oh the fact that you're in apostolic house. Tini ni tini. Ata kwe kanisa inaitangwa shule naitua Jesus Christ and Holy Ghost fire. Teenager ni teenager. So I'm done it is here. TikTok. Hey. Watu kupea na malayo. Juu ya maufala. Zile mapeju muna fuata. Na hata mumeka ma password mother hizi kufuata. Kuna mama liniambia lijaribu kufuata mtoto wake. Hey. Yeah, yeah, you, oh, your daughter is such a good dancer. Now, Lisa, where? And I'm your TikTok. Yendo kusema. Akamtafuta. Akajaribu. Zile ma bloka mekewa. <coughs> tell your neighbor we live in an age of information. Please tell that neighbor, neighbor. And the devil is not playing games. Let me show you how this thing works. If you're writing down, I want you to write this pattern. Information, number one, information. Information. When there is entry of information. Come. 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 Maze na kupenda sana. Ado uzi yake mbali. Kuja tu. Nda kushikia sibu mbaka ni maliza kupreach. Alafu utaka hapa mbele na utaandika notes. 
Bas, ah, alafu sasa kaa hapa mbele, hapa mbele, hapa. Pali na kuona. Na simu na kurudishia na niapawa mtu wangu. Hey, mzae. Hey, Jimmy. Uja maa lazima tumubiri eleo. Apatiwe notebook na bairo. Na, na ndakuwa na ngoje uandike notes. I'll be waiting for you. Until you write notes. Na ukiono mtu wako kwa simu, unamsaidia. Bwana suwe zana. Unamsaidia. Do you know why I'm saying that? It's because whatever I'm about to say is so important. Ah, let's appreciate our sister. Na bairo, bas. Doyo. Yes. Na, ninajua kuna watu wako hapa na wajakuja na uzuri. Ulileto by force. We will make sure that at least tutatuka na one message. Now, tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor information. Thank you. Boss, na nakupenda by the way. See, I love you very much. And I'm looking at you guys. So, information. This is what happens. And what I'm sharing is very important and you have to listen. Because I've discovered, the enemy has discovered, he can never attack your destiny. He can never attack your lifestyle. But if the enemy plants the wrong information, destiny is affected. Let me show what happens. So if ameambiwana Adam, tuliambo tusikule. Tusikule. I want to believe some of you, ukiwa class 6, class 4, you had your 10 commandments. Ah, the first kiss will be on the altar. I don't want to ask whether it has happened on the altar, but I want to believe you had your 10 commandments. And I want to believe some of you, you have older siblings. Now imagine, when do you come say And what has changed is what you knew then. And what you know now is different. Because then someone told you, kissing is bad. Now someone has explained, when you love someone, you kiss them. Now you no longer see kissing as a bad thing. It is now a way of expressing affection. Because one person said it is bad, another one explained so, a part of you tells you it's bad, but a part of you still is leaning on the explanation. And you're saying, by then that makes sense. So, what happens is that the entry of information will change, number one, your perception. That's the first thing information changes. Perception. Somebody say perception. Somebody say perception. It's perception. What is Perception. Ni vile unaona kitu. Ni vile unaona kitu. Nilikuwa nauliza God, mbona tukiwa class 4? Mtu ange class 4 kulikuwa na lugha mbaya sana. Mimi sitawahi kuwa mlevi. Sitawahi kunywa pombe, sitawahi vuta bigara, sigara, sitawahi vuta bangi. Unasikia hizo terminologies? Ika change, ikakuwa ni happy. Tuna symptom atei, tunapiga kagode. Tukishikisha mavela na mafelo. Una, una get? Haikai kitumbaya. E tunatesa. Haikai kitumbaya. But what happens is your perception about some things begin to change. Because the enemy is pumping information. Making sure it no longer appears as evil. It appears as good. It is called rebranding of poison. The manufacturer tells you this content is harmful to your health. But the way they are advertising it, they are not showing your liver burning. They are showing you beautiful girls hanging around a man that has a bottle of alcohol. So someone is telling you this is poison but it can make you happy. But what they are advertising is not what it will do to you, but what you will feel after. 
So your perception changes. After perception changes, the next thing that is affected is your attitude. Attitude. Now as I imagine Eve at your garden of Eden. Maybe at a zile round ya likuwa napiganga Eden. Alikuwa na make sure I may avoid the tree in the middle of the garden. Akipiga two round is akia na jambia. E tree ko pale. Wacha ni pite inside. Vile devo ni kuja kamambia. Iki tu simbaya. Bible inasema she saw that the tree was good for food. Her attitude concerning the tree changed. Initially, she never saw it as something good for food. But after entry of information, perception is altered. Attitude is affected. And when perception and attitude are affected, curiosity is conceived. Curiosity is conceived. I want to tell you for free, there is no addict who took alcohol to be addicted. There is no man who smoked weed, took cocaine, took heroin, any hard drug, so that they can be addicted. They were all trying to see what they will feel once they taste. What they did for pleasure, they are now doing it for survival. There is no young man who masturbated to be addicted to masturbation. They just wanted to know how does it feel. And there was silence in the house. Hi. But today, it's a different story. Because you never manage the gate of information. So your perception and attitude were compromised. And automatically, your curiosity was triggered. A story is told about some hunters who went hunting. And in that forest, it was illegal to eat meat of a certain gazelle. And after a long day, they had some noise in the thicket. And the man drew his bow and his arrow. Rah, he brought down a very fat gazelle. But they were prohibited from eating that gazelle. So they sat down. Now Akakisha Moto. Wakaangaliana, wakaulizana Kutoa mshale kwa gazelle Ni kukula gazelle Kambia si kukula gazelle Akatoa mshale Wakaendelewa kakaka Wakasema kutoa gazelle ngozi Ni kukula gazelle Si kukula gazelle Wakatoa ngozi Uwe mungina kamambia Kukatakata gazelle imetolewa ngozi Ni kukula gazelle Wakasema naimoshi inatupiga Kuchukua mgu ya gazelle Uwekele kwa moto Ndiyo moshi ni kukula gazelle You all know how the story ended Kuonja nyama The following day Ni bones zilikuwa zimebaki Someone said Many people always ask How close can I get before I fall The question should be How far should I be So that I may not fall Tell your neighbor Kama kitu ni mbaya. Hakuna aje excuses mob. Ni mbaya. Ni mbaya. And when curiosity is bad, habits are produced. Habits are produced. Habits are produced. Sustained habits become your lifestyle. A sustained habit is a lifestyle. And your lifestyle will dictate your destiny. A sustained habit becomes your lifestyle. And your lifestyle dictates your destiny. Are we together? Are we together? So you move from curiosity to habit. Like right now, I was just doing a research. And I was asking myself, what is wrong with our high schools? The rate of LGBTQ is so high. You know, we don't live in a vacuum. Being in life church does not mean you guys school in a vacuum. We all know that as a fact. And then on the other side, I decided to ask, what is our generation consuming? 
And Safaricom tells us, anytime the young people are out for holiday, data consumption is on the rise. Even when you look for data advertisements, they are not targeting old people. You'll find a young man skating and then they will advertise bundles because that time the market is ripe and they say majority of the most searched websites are pornographic sites now what the enemy is doing is a slow initiation into perversion and pornography the other thing that young people consume is secular music and in Kenya, the most consumed secular is Gengeton. Of course, they are saying it is dying, but I won't say it is dying, it is evolving. When you go to that Gengeton, it is about three themes. Weed, sex, and party life. Weed, sex, and party life. That is the theme of Gengeton. There is nothing else. There's nothing else. That's what Gengeton talks about. He a chain chain. Na mwenye alia nikeo song ni mtoto wa pasta. He petitio ni mtoto wa pasi. I met him in my office. Kani ambia na juwa pasi. Mi wangatu na relationship yangu na jaja tu chini ya wa. Chini ya wa batu mokoro mzae unajua. Hi wangatu mtu ma front line na uko. Lakini si wengine wangatu ma chini za waba. Lakini kila time tu kuna mangori muambia jaja re. Aingilie tu yaani unajua. Hai. And there is a lot of doctrination in pornography. It begins a soft porn. Then the desire matures and people go to look for the real thing. And what happens and what I discovered, anytime a young man opens a pornographic site, there is a demon that jumps on them. It's called Asmodeus. That spirit will activate lust. What is lust? Lust is legal sexual appetites that wants to be met in an illegal way. That is last. Why am I saying legal? God is the creator of sexual desires. But God is the creator of marriage, but not masturbation. So God gives you desires and the place of implementation. The enemy triggers the desires and perverts implementation. Am I speaking to anyone? And so now, when a generation is caught up in lust, they will do anything to meet their desire. So the campaign is not per se LGBTQ. That is the outcome. The root cause is lust. Because some are not in that, but they are in masturbation. You see, we, someone told me, Pastor Jimmy, we have made it look like or oh, adultery and fornication is not as bad. Listen, whatever makes a man to fornicate is whatever will make a girl to look for another girl. It is lust. Or a boy to look for another boy. It is called lust. And lust is triggered. And part of the trigger is what we hear and what we see. Every move in Hollywood has one agenda. I told them during COVID, we were watching uh, Money Hist with my wife. And this is how she began. Someone told me, you need to watch Money Hist. I said, what, what is that? I said, just watch it. So I began to watch. And then I discovered, I, I told my wife, Vile movie me sifiwa, last my kona vitu za ufala. And before we even went ahead, unajuliza ini watu wanaiba bank. Kuiba bank. Then unanza kuona wanaume wawili wanakani kwa. Unajuliza, hii e, e scene last ma ingeleto kwa kuiba bank. Inausiana ache na pesa. But you see, there is, there is an agenda. Someone must use the gate of media to pass an agenda. Someone must begin to communicate to us. Some of the children we are raising today, zile cartoon wana watch, zikona out of space discs. So, uyo mtu uyu kimuambia kuna rapture, ya anajua kuna UFO. Kuna madisks inachukua watu. Because they have been doctrinated. 
from the time they were young that they are outer space aliens that can invade the world. Because if rapture happens and that child and be where, uh, breaking news aliens have just uh, hijacked some few people globally and you're trying to get the number but the world is safe at a mini because someone began to program their mind when they were young that there is nothing like heaven but we have out of space beings someone getting me so so we must guard what we hear your destiny is tied to what you know the law of computer says garbage in garbage out we are in the age of information you have not had yet the work of the media tvs are not there to pass news the work of tvs to pass agendas i was watching fox news and then bbc and fox news bbc cnn all of them made us believe clinton will win I told sir, can I make it in Trump? Even standard newspaper published and said, could America have their first female president? Because they had consumed the propaganda of the media. Hey! Ile news ya ukweli kwa gazeti ni obituary. <laughs> so it last month because because people share what they are thinking and the enemy is very strategic he knows he that has the mind of man has the generation and so what what is the conversation now among teenagers stay walk stay walk what is walk is know something spiritual a young girl was asked so what's the cool thing to do she said astro projection i said that and it was like da is, is you just leave your body then go meet some energies in in the realm of the spirit and then come back astro projection is the science of witches to get out of body and meet in the sea now it is a cool thing in our generation. What wanna foolish yoga? Kufungwa ma chakra na the third eye. The seeing eye. No na kuta lesson YouTube na Twitter. I was watching a 25 year old witch who runs a school on YouTube. Pas you kimono is joining chawi. Nanasama konyumangu, you know I have altars for the different gods. Um, this one is for Leviathan. I have the different gods I sacrifice to. I have the home god. I have the house god. I say the world. Don't be deceived that the West don't have something they believe in. Those men are not atheists. Those men are spiritualists. Hey. Pastor, na semanga apa ibisi vile siu piga keho ya na vile chaine meomoka na waombangi mungu. Nani alikuambia chaine omo? Ni Jehovah waombangi. I was saying I'm a Buddhist. They believe in the lectures of Buddha. Na si vile tunapiganga prayer hapa na tuomoki. Prayer gani mnapiganga hapa? Maombi mnapiganga hapa ni crisis meeting. Form form mmeokoka wote. First year mume backslide wote. No relationship. Ukia kwa same class na Muislamu, you have no rank. Huyo Muislamu ikifika saa saba naomba, we hata food uombe. And then you go to Dubai. They are making millions with our book. Because the Quran is 80% scripture. But they have refused to read it. They practice it. They are practitioners. In Dubai they have something they call halal. They follow the book of Leviticus. That Niki so you don't make profit with a brother. This is our staff. This book has made men rich. But it is one of the hardest books to read. But when you read it, your mind changes. Let this book of the law not depart from your mouth. Be sensitive to observe it. Meditate on it day and night, O Joshua. So that you may make your way prosperous. What are you meditating about? What are the things that you are reading? The Bible says the word of the Lord, this one, is not just life. This one is light also. This is the light and the lamp to my feet. 
this is the information that I need in my life. Everything you need for life is here. Everything you need for life. Someone said a research was done. And they began to read the Bible to madmen. And they said they were reading loudly. And those people got healing on the left side of the brain. Because these are not words. This is life. This is life. This is life. They are not just words. Jesus looked upon them and he said, whatever I utter, these are not just words. This is life and spirit. There is a level where words are not vowels. They are energies and spirits. A man can tell you, you look okay. Unaka fit in Friday the whole day. Mwina kwambia mjinga wewe. No jam the whole day. One word. What does that word have to do with your emotions? Because that man never released vowels. He released a spiritual force that affected your whole day. That's why you must know how to speak. And your speech is connected to what is in you. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. You cannot speak life and all you feed is death. Born to suffer, born to survive. When him not, when him to a reggae. How do you expect you to speak life? Vitu kichwa imeja reggae. Do you see anything to smile about? Yes, there is something to smile about. So you must begin to change your diet. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, your tongue is the pen of your destiny. Be sensitive what you listen to. Kuna mdol niambia maju, misi iskizangi news, uneza dedi. Una akisha news, watu wa sabo wa mefariki. Bomu ya lipuka Amerika. Ukraine yasema ya kwamba mabomu ya tachiliwa. Unajuliza boss, hakuna siku mtasema. Vijana wamekutana katika ukumbi wa Nova Pioneer. Vijana say, that is good news. But the world is intoxicated with negative news. That is why the Bible says this is the good news. I don't know what you are looking for, but this is the good news. If you want to listen to news, you will commit suicide. If you listen to what God is saying, you will have a reason to live another day. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are not plans of evil. They are not plans of evil. If they are plans of a hope and a future, he that knows the number of hair on my head, he says, I know. He that knows the end from the beginning, he says, you have an expected end. When they are saying, oh, Nika economy in Aisha, you say, the good news tells me, the Lord has an expected end over my life. I cannot die now because I know the Lord has never created a bad end. When I begin to look life with the eyes of heaven, I cannot live like an ordinary boy because whatever I see is different. I am Alpha Omega. I am the end, the beginning. Before you were, I was. Before I formed thee, I knew thee. You, you are trying to know yourself. I know you. Ask me who you are. Your friends might tell you you are a dancer, but you are an apostle. Your friends might tell you you are a slave queen. No, you are an intercessor. Ask me who, I, who you are. Because I know the number of hair on your head. Tell me a friend who knows the number of hair on your head. The Bible says, oh Lord, as I existed as an embryo. This is David writing. When my substance were yet unformed. When I existed as a biological logical egg you knew me and then he writes and says i was fearfully and wonderfully made you knew me as an embryo you have all bio data over my life facebook cannot define me tiktok cannot define me before instagram jehovah was before tiktok jehovah was so begin to eat another food Begin to feed your mind with something that comes from above. Begin to read the word of God. Begin to see men that broke ceilings and walked in possibilities. Begin to see young people that did wonders. That at the age of 14, Mary, Mary the mother of Jesus became pregnant at 14. At 14, can heaven partner with your womb? At 14, can the Lord say at 14, you are the intercessor of your home? Can the Lord say at 14, I will open your eyes to be a prophet to your people? A 14 year old was carrying the Messiah. At the age of 16, David was being anointed as the king of Israel. Not as a prophet, as a king. 16. 16 that the bible says and samuel entered into the house of jesse all the brothers were brought the big brothers he asked is there no son in this
this house that the oil may fall i want to tell you you are not too young for god you are not too young for the anointing you are not too young for the power you are not too young for the holy ghost let the devil not lie to you i believe 16 year old kings are going to arise 16 but anointed 16 but you can fight the battles in your family you can kill the goliath in your home whatever your father never killed you are the one to bring it down where they failed you cannot fail there a 16 year old the bible says and john the writer of the book of revelation he was 17 when jesus was looking for the disciples he went for peter who was around 49 50 but he also saw a young man at the age of 17 who was an apostle my god that you have an apostle at 17 who writes the very book that even apostles today cannot interpret the book of revelation my god, we are not too young somebody lift up your hand and say lord i am not too young i am not too young i am not too young at the age of 19 daniel was a governor 19 nine, oh my god not not a community leader a governor a governor that interpreted the dream of the king he was a prayerful governor oh you don't need to be 30 to break ceiling in sheria watu waliweka ati unasoma unamaliza unatafuta kazi unaritaya ukiwa 60 hapa kuna watu wataritaya wakiwa 30 oh who drew the lies a generation must arise oh my god at form 2 you can be a millionaire i'm believing god the next conference where we do tajilipia because there are things you will begin where we see wa kuingia tiktok ku dance where we see wa kuingia uko uko sio kwenu anza kuambia mungu give me an idea as a young man give me a product that i can sell as a young man i refuse to be a teenager without an assignment and i discovered any time god wants to use a generation he doesn't go to the old Anytime God goes to the old, the young have refused. Nini ndo mtabadilisha hizi maufala tunaona? Nini? Mulizali wa such a time to kazi kwa kwa generation yenu. Hau kuwa na kazi siku za Moses. Hau kuwa na kazi siku za Yesu. Hau kuwa na kazi siku za Moi. Wewe kazi yako iko kwa serikari ya uhuru. I mean serikari ya ruto. Na hii job yako iko sahi. Each generation in a Kenya when the wazimu, where when the mumocha wow, now where when the pastor wow, apostle wow, evangelist wow, you are the solution. So don't be afraid. We were with Pastor Jimmy. We met a a woman who was involved in an accident during COVID. She was drunk. Ah, kwanza katuambia ni zaidi akutoa hizi masigara na mapombe. The police waki kujua sijui ilikuwa drunk at driving. Now, Ali Epoka Kifo, because Pali Ali Toka, no one survives. It's a dam that's very demonic. Because Babu Watu Aliomba Apo, Kanyoka Kakatoka Chinya Maji Kakanza Kuhepa. Apa Lemuru. And then we spoke, we asked her, ah, You must be very prayerful. Or you used to be prayerful. She said, No, I don't pray. But I know my daughter, who is in Form 1, prays for me. Ah. I said, Lord, some of our parents, when we go down on our knees, they can go to the kitchen and say, Lord, I know I'm safe because my daughter is praying for me. Oh, some of you, I'm doing nini ndo mnashikile yo familia. Maisha imekuwa ngumu mzea meshindwa kuomba. Mama meshindwa kuomba. Sometimes ato uoni dad kanisani, maisha imekuwa ngumu. Wewe inuka kama intercessor. Sema, Lord, as long as I'm here, this family is going to stand. Is someone getting me? And some of you, some of you, you are born as an answered prayer. That's what I know. Kuna wakati mzazi, bro. Kuna wakati mzazi you pray. Badala ya mungu kubadilisha circumstance and ampatia Joseph. Badala ya kubadilisha poverty and hakikisha umezaliwa. Wewe unabarikiwa, unabadilisha maisha. That's why some of you cannot mess up. 
Wewe destiny yako si kaya bro yako. Joseph alikuwa 10th, 11th bro. But yeye ndo alikuwa deliverer wa mabro kumi na moja. So akuna vile Joseph ange behave ka juda. So don't compare yourself with your brothers and sisters. Yours is a different story. Pale walianguka wewe utaanguka. Zile vitu wako achieve wewe uta achieve. May you be the one to make history in that home. I say may you be the one to make history in that home. May you rewrite the history of your family in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord raise Joseph in our midst. May you be the one to bring honor in the doors of your father's house. May you be the one to bring honor in the doors of your mother's house. You are not another pain in that family. You are a blessing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May you arise to become the man and the woman that the Lord ordained you to be. Lift up your hand and say, Lord, I am a ceiling breaker. I am a history maker. Oh Lord, anoint me now for my family, for my generation, and for your glory. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. May that be your story. Hallelujah. May that be your story. May that be your story. History makers. Ceiling breakers. Generational changers. Hallelujah. Tell that neighbor the people that change the world. They have a nose like yours. They have a forehead like yours. They have eyes like yours. They have a height like yours. Tell that neighbor, neighbor, you are part of that company. The company that will change the world. The company that will change the world. Tell that neighbor, neighbor. Our God is not a motivational speaker. His word is yes and amen. Every word upon your life, let it come to pass in the name of Jesus. Every prophecy upon your life, let it come to pass in the name of Jesus. Every dream, every vision, let it come to pass. Sometimes God will show you the future through a dream. Mimi nilianza na mziki. Kuna time nilikuwa kwa keja. Nimeshika chupa ya cobra ilikuwa spray. Hiyo spray ilikuwa ina pulizio maiti na watu wamesota. Cobra. Nikashika microphone. Nimeweka tape nikafunga macho. Nikaanza kusema wajanja na jua so wamelazo la ngata. Walioito mafala ndio mapastors kwa alta. Kupata degree is evidence ya usmata. Wengi ndani ya maji wamelowa kadasta wako form 22 na kazi ni kwa abuse map 22 unajiuliza mbona wanashika ball na hao si ma goalkeepers juti mafisi ndo aliyeko ka gatekeepers wanachokunywa wanachokunywa ni zaidi ya maji wanachovuta ni zaidi ya hewa wanachotofuna ni zaidi ya mboga kupewa kulewa so nimefunga macho nikaona stadium imejaa watu Nikuwa tu niki ma vision tu na nikaona niko kwa crowd nimesema kila mtu weka mkono juu na zikae kwa juu nikaamka nikafungua macho nilikuwa na rock na vest na chupa ya cobra nikakunywa maji nikajiambia acha stories za jaba buda inaro kaijaitwa msanii wa hiyo kiwango many years later i was in groove tour eldoret Nikasikia next on stage put your hands together all the way from Narok M to the R to the T so Mr T nikashika mic nikakumbuka what i saw with my eyes closed i am now seeing with my eyes open i want to announce in the name of Jesus whatever you are seeing now with your eyes closed one day you will see it with your eyes open one day you will see it with your eyes open some of you mnachiangalia anga mnachiona mko kwa mataifa it is coming some of you unachiangalia unaona uko 42 floor na kiti nazunguka as a manager of companies it is coming in the name of Jesus some of you unachiangalia anga unaona crusade imejaa watu uponyaji unatembea i declare it is coming in the name of Jesus whatever you are seeing with your eyes closed that day is coming you shall see it with your eyes open 
keep on dreaming keep on praying keep on chasing god in the fullness of time joseph you will be a prime minister may god bless you we love you so much hallelujah amen Give Jesus a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. This generation, God is ready to use you in a mighty, mighty way. From this day, your destiny is sure in the name of Jesus Christ. You cannot be lost. From here, you cannot be lost. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Awesome, awesome. So we bless the Lord. Lift up your hands before the Lord. I want you to respond to the word of God that has come to us. It's always good to activate the released word by prayers own it make it personal in the mighty name of jesus declare that the information you have heard and this age of information the information will not affect you will not affect the love of god for your life in the name of jesus shandere bakaria zogoda Amasuya paria makato rapaga diuzi ya handere basuna na makura zagai eka para zuka rama handere paria zuka turia bahande. In the name of the Lord, you will stick to this truth. You will be stuck in truth. In the name of the Lord, nothing will sway you. Nothing will pluck you out of the truth. In the name of Jesus, shela pura kazia para.